The king of swing, Wasim Akram is well known for his ability to swing the ball in air and this movement is quite unbelievable. He was a master of conventional swing with the new ball and reverse swing with the old ball. Mako Yunus makes a return to bowl from the southern end. The toe crusher Waka Yunis, the current Pakistani fast bowling coach, was proven to be a lethal threat to all batsmen. His reverse swinging toe crushing yokers and the swinging deliveries was a treat to watch. A classical front on action with the release held bent upon landing it on a length, furious pace to match it, and a clever mind. Dare Stain has been one of the most complete fast bowlers of this generation. It's gone! What a start for Sri Lanka! That changes winning the toss to get Gilchrist earlier on top. Not the tallest, not heavily built, and certainly not the most fearsome with his face. Chaminda was over the years, he had the Lankal fast bowling attack and developed all sorts of variations. His delivery swung ever so late for the batsman after luring himself into believing that it would harmlessly go through. Lovely catching. The pigeon, Glenn McGrath, tidy line and then forcing the batsman to play at deliveries in the infinite loop outside off. He didn't have the pace, but his ability to swing the ball was quite remarkable. Hi guys, you just saw some of the footages of the fast bowlers who dominated the batsman with not just low pace but with pure swing. So guys, today we will be discussing about the science behind the swinging of the cricket ball. A cricket ball is placed inside a wind tunnel and jets of smoke blast down the tunnel to stimulate the flow of air around the ball, travelling at high speed. There are two types of swing associated with the cricket ball, one being the conventional swing and the other being the reverse swing. The conventional swing is also subdivided into two parts, one being the in-swing and the other being the out-swing. Now let us take a closer look at the cricket ball to observe how it swings. As already mentioned, there are two types of conventional swing, one being out-swing and the other being in-swing. This is a representation of out-swing. The rough side is on the left-hand side, whereas the smooth side is on the right-hand side. What happens in in-swing is that the sides are being interchanged. The rough side comes to the right hand side, whereas the smooth side end up in the left hand side. And the direction that it points is in this particular direction in in-swing and the direction that it points in the out-swing is in this particular direction. He's Anderson. James Anderson, perhaps the best swing bowler in the world at the present moment. With a classical side-on action, he generates natural outswing and with the old ball, he is capable of reverse swinging it. Now let us observe the science behind the outswing. The science behind the in-swing is the complete opposite to this. The air flow through the smooth side of the ball is termed to be as a lamina flow which is an orderly flow and it separates the ball, so the boundary layer would separate around here. Thereby, an awake is seen in this side of the ball in this particular direction. On the other side of the ball, it is a turbulent flow on the rough side of the ball. After the flow reaches the ball and passes the seam of the ball, there is a turbulent layer being formed. The turbulent layer would stay on the ball for a longer period of time and separate the layer. Thereby, a resultant awake is introduced in this particular direction and a force acting in the direction of this particular direction. Thereby, the swing of the ball is pointed to this direction. This is an outswing ball for a right handed batsman, and it is an in swing ball for a left handed batsman. Let us now look at the following stimulation to understand this behavior more precisely. We are looking at the ball from the above. It is travelling in this direction and it is coated with a layer of air that flows around the ball called the boundary layer. This layer clings to the shiny side of the ball and leaves the ball causing a awake. The boundary layer is stripped by the seam and becomes a turbulent flow on the rough side. 
These turbulent layers stick to the ball for a longer period of time and the awake puts more pressure on this side of the ball, making the ball swing to the right. I was gone. Sri Lanka can't be turned back. Great average of 43. He's going to need it all. Kula Sankar has got a shout and he's been given. First ball, big hooping in swinger. He hasn't been watching TV. He's let it go. He's trapped. Nuan Kulasekar, who hustles in from a long run-up and has a smooth action which helps him to solve the ball at a likely pace, generating swing to trouble the batsman. His in-swingers dipped in and made batsmen dance off their shoes. Inman's got him, cleaned them up in the 43rd over, a great victory for Pakistan. In the 1970s, the great Pakistani captain Imran Khan discovered that he could turn the science on his head. Imran found that he could swing the ball in reverse but he had no idea how it swing in reverse. Reverse swing happens when the ball is swinging in the opposite direction to the conventional swing. Rabbi Mehta, now a NASA scientist, was a scientist who spent years exploring the science behind reverse swing. This is what he and the other physicists discovered. When the ball is pulled, both sides of the ball become rough, thereby the flow of air is turbulent on both sides of the ball. There is a turbulence on this side of the ball which was initially smooth, it would separate fairly late. On the other side of the ball, the flow is turbulent before it reaches the seam, and the seam causes the turbulent layer to thicken, and as it is a thick layer, it leaves earlier. So this causes a awake in this particular direction and a resultant force is causing the particular swing to reverse swing and the resultant force is acting in this particular direction causing the ball to reverse swing. The ball is travelling in this direction. The flow of air is turbulent on both sides of the ball as the ball is pulled but when it reaches the seam it is being tripped and becomes even thicker and this thick layer peels away from the earlier putting pressure on this side of the ball. So the ball would swing opposite to it. The right-handed batsman would think that the ball would swing away from him as the seam appears to be in this particular direction. But what actually happens would the ball would try to in-swing towards him, creating a reverse swing. Trenched in the memories of everyone, the one that gets slammed, the one that gets Lewis reverse swing at his best. Rashi Bakram is on a hat trick. Again, left arm around the wicket. Wazi Makram was you know, more famous for reverse swing next ball. You know, thinking Chris Lewis maybe been paying attention to see which way that one swung, swung it the other way and got the inside edge and bowled him as well. Cricket is said to be the gentleman's game because of its discipline and the respect in the sport on and off the field. But there have been attempts made by several players in order to hinder the discipline of the sport. They have made attempts in making the ball rough or smooth in order to produce conventional swing and reverse swing. On a humid day, the ball is said to swing more, thereby overcast conditions and a swing bowler is a nightmare to any world cast batsman out there. So guys, that is about the science behind the swinging of the cricket ball. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a nice day.